Capturing PLC timing with a Hiyoki memory high quarter and logic probes is extremely easy. Watch this video to learn about how to use a memory high quarter's high speed function for this application. By connecting logic probes to the MR8880 memory high quarter, you can capture up to eight channels of logic signals. When recording four channels of analog signals at the same time, it makes the recorder especially useful for analyzing the timing of control signals. To begin, use the cursor to set the memory high quarter to the high speed function in order to make high speed measurements. Select the time for each division in the time axis. Use the zoom settings to zoom in and out on the display with respect to the time axis. The recording length represents how long waveforms will be recorded into internal memory. You can record up to 10,000 divisions of data. Next, let's make logic input settings. Adjust the width of the display, position, and even use different colors for easier viewing. Now let's set the trigger conditions. Turn on the trigger function and enter the logic trigger pattern you would like to use to activate the trigger. Based on the AND OR settings, the trigger will activate with respect to the specified logic level. Now let's set the pre-trigger. Use the cursor key to move to the pre-trigger field. Select the record 5% before the trigger point. Press the start key to confirm and wait for the trigger to activate. Use the A and B cursors on the recorded waveform to get the numerical data on the time and electrical potential differences. Here you can see the time lapse between the A and B cursors. As you can see, capturing PLC timing with a Hiyoki memory high quarter and logic probes is extremely easy. For more information, please visit www.hiyoki.com.